I can't believe we're in the same place. <laughs> it still smells the same. It still looks the same. Okay, we are officially re roommated Obviously, there are a ton of like kids to the real world. Where are they now? Articles online. But I'm sort of wondering how well you guys have kept up with each other and like who you were most excited to see. Well, um, we keep each up, uh, keep up with each other um, on a, a text thread. Usually, the show aired on like May 21st, and we always kind of text on that day over the years. And I've periodically seen everybody through the years, but I haven't seen everybody as a group. And after the show, we became so famous that we, I'd hang out with one person. It was a nightmare. Three people, it was a bedlam. And, and four people, forget it. So it was really hard for all of us to really hang out as a giant group because we pretty much could stop a city. I would, yeah, I mean, that was another one of my questions. Like, Heather, maybe you can tackle this. I was sort of wondering, like, what the phenomenon was at the time. Like, going back and looking at some of the reviews, the reviews weren't great, but, like, the, the popularity of the show has really, like, grown over time. Mara, just imagine, girl. Like, you are 20, 21 years old. You minding your business. Somebody tells you, okay, Mara, you're a writer. You're a journalist. So I'm going to bring you in and live in this house with six people, and we're going to film you. And you think... I don't care. Just give me my money, pay me whatever. I'm going to chill. And then boom. And it's, it's a different kind of boom. It's like 4th of July boom. You know, it, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around all of it. You know, like you go in as honest and as easy going as possible, but then you realize like, to your point, people are writing about you and they, it's not a fair assessment. It's, it's like, seven people splitting 22 minutes of, of time every week that you don't really know that that much about me or the six other people that I live with. So a lot of it sometimes, that, like you pointed out the reviews, it was unfair, you know, some of it was unfair, but at the same time, you know, it was an awesome experience. It's like, think about it. We did this thing 29 years ago and we're able to come back 29 years later and like talk and have these conversations. So it's hard to wrap your head around even to this day, Mara, what really happened. But at the same time, you know, it's like, what a blessing that it did happen because I was able to like meet other people who've gone on to do real world, to get to know a Norman and Eric and Becky and Julie, like in a way and watch them develop. So it's been cool. And just to see like reality TV is a legit category now, like in, in television. So it's awesome to be a part of it. Even if people said what they said initially, I think some of the opinions may have changed after what, watching yeah, the series. I think, I think that, that they didn't know what to, a lot of people didn't know what to make of us. They didn't know where to put us. They're like, it's weird. They're weird. They're like, it's kind of a Melrose Place show, but it's not scripted. They're real people. They didn't know what to really mm. to think because we had now broken the fourth wall. And I actually think that made a lot of people very uncomfortable initially. It made a lot of people like the, what, the viewers made them excited. But the journalists and, and people who, you know, television critics and this, that and the other, they really didn't know what to do with it. And even some, um, you know, producers or writers or actors were kind of, you know, uptight about it because once that genre took off, there wasn't any jobs for them. You know, it was it, this was a whole new form of television. So, you know, it's like whenever you do something that's pioneering, it has a mixed bet. You know, there's a yeah. mixed uh you know, it's controversial, honestly. That's what it was at the time because of the issues we talked about, because it was a whole new kind of a genre itself. And it's not saying I'm not like just patting us on the back, like it's because we were so great. It's just because it was like an interesting uh, synergy of people at a time when it was needed. And mm -hmm. then, you know, it was in a new format that was hard to figure out. I mean, there's the, 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 you know, the tagline for Seinfeld is like, oh, it's the show about nothing. nothing. But like, in some sense, real world was like the show about nothing, you know, because you guys were just doing your lives. But it was also the show about everything because you were like living your lives. You're talking about racism. You're talking about relationships. You're talking about like growing up. You're talking about. Can I just say I haven't really had a chance to say this to anybody yet. And, and, and 
and there, uh, yeah, the issues are important and there, and, but you know, there's the human aspect, which is also very, very important. And that's, that was the thing that was so interesting to me when I look back, yes, I can place it in volatile times, you know, yes, I can look at that issue and go, my God, you know, like, look what's happening here. And, and how do we, how do we address this? But what is most interesting about the real world to me from the beginning and all the way through, I think I, I would have to say, you know, like four or five seasons is um, what they called the social experiment. It's how people interact and it's a different way of interacting when you have cameras on, you know, and it's very, you can see when you look back and you watch these shows, you can see people, um, in their eyes or so forth, maybe they would want to say something or maybe they wouldn't want to say something, but they got a camera on them, you know, and it's, it changes things, but in a really interesting way. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm being just deadly honest about the medium right now, you know, all of us sitting around in a, in a living room, that's going to be one kind of a, an interaction. You put it in under the hot seat, that's another kind of reaction. And that's a very, that's very, very interesting to me when I see that. Heather, have you caught up with Larry Johnson? Girl, I saw Larry Johnson one day in a bank. And yes, I saw Larry Johnson one day in a bank and he gave me the biggest hug and just cracked up laughing because imagine Mara, he had no idea what we were doing way back then. And he gave me the biggest hug and we just laughed about it. He said, has a B like and that it was great. <laughs> That's it was great. great. Yes. So thank you for asking me that, Mara. He was so nice. Yes, when I saw him, this was like four years ago. What has Norman meant to the gay community? Does that make any sense? I have been such a mixed message to the gay community, you know. And I addressed this on the the, the show, which was a, which was one of the drawings for me to come back to do the show. Was this? And I think in the early days, I was like a gay Frankenstein. Like, what do we do with this? Like, <laughs> not gay people on television. Well, maybe we really should label them as gay. Maybe we should be bisexual. You know, it's like, what do they do? And so I was stunned when that came out and the gay community was stunned. And then when you're the first thing, I mean, you're talking to us and how many cast members have there been like 30 real worlds? For some reason, we stick in everybody's minds, you know, and everyone gets kind of lost in this blender, you know, unless you really act out. Well, when you come out on television and it's the first thing people see, they remember this for 30 years. I'm like, I'm, I thought, oh, this would go away. It's not. So it has really impacted a lot of my life. And for a lot of people, and they had no voice or bisexual was the biggest thing. And, and that was the most helpful thing for them. And they had never heard of this. It wasn't like there was the internet. It wasn't like there were cell phones. They didn't even have gay community centers in any one of these little towns, wherever they were. They were only located. And the ones that existed had a bunch of little folding tables and they would get like in the bottom of a little basement if, if someone was lucky enough to even have a gay and lesbian center in them. Mm -hmm. So it was a really monumental thing. But the Geiger counter for a lot of gay people in the gay community were like, you know, you weren't as brave as Pedro and da, 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 da. So I, I, you know, I took a lot of weird heat, but I also opened a lot of doors for a lot of people. What was it like after you had come out on the show? It was hard. My friends left me. He represents what we all need to be, which is love. It's 29 years later and we're still having the same conversation.